everybody doing today? I hope everybody's having an extraordinary day today. And you know, welcome to your favorite channel where we're always a little glowy and sometimes a little hoey. Hey! <laughs> Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup and we are so glad to have you here and when I say we, I mean you as in me as in you um, because this is your channel as much as it is my channel and you know, and we I welcome you here with great open arms and you know, just so glad that you're here, you know, so pull up a chair, you know, grab yourself a snack, you know, a little glass of wine, you know, a cup of coffee, you know, whatever your time of day may be and hang out with me today because we're doing a little bit of a versus today, guys. So, and before I get started, to just to let you know, my lighting, one of my light bulbs fell on top of my head and, <laughs> and it busted one of my light bulbs in my, in my light. So we may be a little wonky with lighting, so I'm just throwing that out there. But anyway, so today we are actually versing two makeups together and that is the, um, this is Shantakai Future Skin Makeup, which was actually featured in Euphoria, uh, the show. And then we also have the, um, we also have the Shantakai Just Tinted, uh, Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. And we're going to be comparing these two side by side. So if you're interested in any one of these, or if you wanted to know a little bit more about these, or my opinion on these, because they're not new, then you know, stick around and let's find out together. This is the um, Dior, it's the Balm, it's the Sika, it's the Balm Sika Repair, or Sika Recover Balm with Calamine. It's for the face and body. Um, this is a newer product by Dior. Um, it's like, it is um, a really amazing product for someone that does very, very sensitive skin, fragrance free, um, no parabens, no synthetic dyes or fragrances or anything like that. It helps to repair windburn, sunburn. Um, it heals the skin. It's great on, um, you know, for men, women, children, everyone. Um, you know, if, if you, if you just get the, if you're very, very sensitive, if you want just a little bit of, if you want a cream, um, that's very, very concentrated, you don't want to use a lot of it, but you want a really good moisturizer, um, or just something to really soothe your skin if your skin is really dry and it's just dehydrated. This is a really good balm. It feels really good on the skin. There's no smell to it whatsoever, which is a little untypical for Dior because a lot of the times they do have, a, a, you know, a fragrance in their skincare. Um, I didn't really think I was going to like this at first, but I really like it. It's a brand new product. Um, they just came out with it. Um, and they've, it's been not, not even maybe two or three weeks. So it's a really good product. It's about $60 for a tube of it. Really like it. It's a really good, really good product. Um, it's the cute. first time I've actually got to use it, um, that I've opened up a tube. So I'm really, really excited to have it now in my collection. You'll probably see it again in my Dior video when I do skincare because I've got a lot of Dior skincare mixed in with Lancome and a couple other things. So you'll probably see it in that one again too. So just, you know, just for future references. I mean, then we're going to do a little bit of my Natasha Denona. This is the uh, Face Glow Primer. I'm going to do just a little bit of it. It's very, very hydrating. Um, there's no smell. Oh, well, yeah, there's a little bit of a smell. It's a little clean. It's clean. Um, it's just really clean. It feels really fresh. It's just very hydrating. And you know me, I feel like I'm very dry. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, um, very dry. I will put up here my what I look for in a foundation and what I look for. I always mean to do that, guys, when I'm doing foundation videos. And for the last couple, I forgot to do that about my age and my skin type and what I look for and all that kind of stuff. I usually have it, but I, when I'm doing the video and I'm editing, I totally forget <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, I forgot all about it. <laughs> so anyway, so anyway, we are ready to start. We are now, we are all primed, we're all glowy and hoey and hey, we're all ready to go. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually used both of these products. I've been testing them both so I know what works for me. Um, I've got, and you know, of course I have a sponge, which I'll probably use for blending, but I'm going to be honest with you. I think a brush works better on both of these foundations. So first up, let's talk a little bit about the Future Skin. Um, it's the oil-free gel foundation by Shantakai. Um, I think it's around $80. I'm not mistaken. I'll put it here. I'm not going to do a lot of information on this, guys, because it's a little of an older foundation. Um, it's pretty much, it, it has um, aloe, rosemary, camellia, arnica to help moisturize and soothe the appearance of skin. They use this actually on your Euphoria, the show. Um, I've heard on a lot of the um, a lot of the stars on the show, the young stars on the show, because it looks just like skin. Um, and you know, and this is what it looks like. It looks just like this. It comes in a jar, just like this. So it looks really thick. I have this in the shade. Um, this is the shade Hazel. 
um, and it looks really thick. It looks really, really rich, but when you actually feel it, it's very gel-like. So, it goes into the skin literally like nothing. So, when you see it, it barely has any, it has a little bit of a sheen to it, and that's it. I mean, it's just, it's a really simple, soothing foundation. There's no sunscreen in it whatsoever, but it feels really nice. It feels very cool on the skin almost. It's a really beautiful foundation. And then we have the Shantakai Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer, and this has an SPF 15 in it. Of course, you know, we don't really count the 15 in most of these products. You should always use your sunscreen on its own. And usually I have an SPF 30 on. Typically, um, I just cleaned my skin and just shaved and everything, so I didn't really need to because I'm not going back outside. But um, it has an SPF 15 in it. Um, so this product really doesn't have a lot of information about it. There's really not much to it. It pretty much is just what it says. It comes in a tube just like this, um, and you're getting about, um, it's a 1.7 ounce. So that's quite a bit for, you know, a tinted moisturizer. And this one actually has, um, this one has a one ounce. So, but I mean, but a, a jar of that would last you forever. Um, but this is what I'm going to do a little bit. Let me do a little bit on this side of my hand. So this is, we're going to take a little bit of the tube and I'm going to squirt a little bit. Now, have this in the shade weed. Now, I will say that this one has about 15 shades in it, and this one has only eight shades in it. So, the shade range is really, this is the darkest shade. So, Shantaka needs to do a little bit more. They have some darker shades in this one, but there's not in this one. This is the darkest one. So, this is the shade wheat, um, and that's what it looks like. It's got a little bit, see, it's got a little bit of, it's got a glow, and it looks so beautiful. When I tell you guys, um, I do some um, work for Swan Beauty, which actually, um, I will leave a link down below for their website if you guys want to go over and check it out. You know, my roommate also works for them as well. But, you know, it is just, a, we, it, on clients, it just, the, both of these products look amazing on the skin. They just look so beautiful. Clients look beautiful. Their skin looks plump. It looks really radiant. They, they don't look heavy or cakey or anything. It's really great. You know, of course, Shantakai is cruelty free, and, you know, they, a lot of, they give a lot back to the environment and to the planet and to animals and um they're just really a really great company shanta kai if you're watching if you ever want to send me some gratis hey i would love to have some moisturizer if you want to not that i need any moisturizer but if you know but if you wanted to send me some you could send me but anyway um i love their products they have great products i really fell in love with the company of working for swan has really opened my eyes up to a lot of it so i'm really really excited to um share these products with you and put them out there a little bit more because again you know a lot of these products are not new um i'm sure you guys have seen reviews on this before, but I just thought I would, you know, put my two cents on it and what I think about it. And I've got these two products instead. I was going to get the Clay de Poe Radiant Foundation because I loved it so much. I ran out of the sample and I used it. And I was like, well, I want to get that, but it's like I can only afford to get something. So, I mean, so I decided to get this one instead. So, um, it is really good. They are very similar. A lot of these products remind me of the Clay de Poe a little bit. So, they are a little similar. Now, this shade is a little darker than the wheat. So, we're going to see how they look side by side. Um, I hope they look good because I've got to do more videos after this one. So, I hope they look <laughs> BK Beauty. I'm going to use it. This is my favorite foundation brush. Um, I love this one, the 101. If you guys have not tried BK Beauty brushes, I don't know what you're waiting for. You need to go check them out, especially when she does like a 20% and 25% when I say that. I mean, Lisa J Makeup. Um, it's really amazing. I'll leave her link down below if you want to check out her channel. But um, she's got her own channel, but she used to be a makeup artist for MAC, and now she has her own company. And she's got all these great, these great, amazing brushes. And I mean, and more than brushes, she's got lipsticks and great lip liners. And I mean, beautiful, beautiful product. Beautiful company, beautiful product. But I love this brush. So we're going to go into, um, let's start with, let's start with the let's start with the tint first so i'm gonna take a little bit of the tint on the back of my hand and you can see it's it looks like it's gonna be thicker um but it's very very um it's very very hydrating it's very lightweight um it's you know it's definitely gonna be a lot lighter than the other shade because i can tell you that right now but see how beautiful that is just on its own just doing that how pretty that is that is just really beautiful um, it just looks so, it just looks so plumpy and so healthy and so gorgeous. That's the thing about Shantakai and their products. Their products make your skin look like your skin. Like, you, it just looks really beautiful. Of course, you know, there's no smell to the product. Um, 
Again, this has a little bit of a sunscreen. It has a SPF 15 in it. But it just look how juicy that looks already. How juicy. And I mean, I know my skin look it's, it's it, you know, it's moisturized, but it's just, but still, it just makes it look really juicy. You can build the product up a little bit. Um, you know, it's not it's not like super heavy. There's, I mean, you know, it's a tinted moisture. There's only so much you're going to get out of it. I mean, I would say maybe a light to medium coverage. That's about all you're going to get out of it. I wouldn't say you were going to get anything more out of it. That's pretty much probably it. But look how beautiful that is. How pretty. How, how nice and smooth that looks on the skin. Take a little bit with my finger and I'm just going to press a little bit right here right around my eye area just a little bit because I wanted to show you guys I've been taking my foundation up around my eyes a little bit um and just giving it a little bit more like sometimes if you just don't want to do concealer if you just take your foundation up around your eye area it just makes it look so juicy and sometimes you don't even need concealer I mean it just really you really don't look 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 already how pretty that looks it just looks really smooth if your makeup if your foundation is not too dark just take it up a little bit around your eye area, and sometimes it does a good job just like that. Because look how pretty that looks. Just just like that, how smooth and pretty. Very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It just feels almost like a gel. It just feels so good on the skin. Um, so definitely love this foundation. It lasts really decently. It's a tinted moisturizer. I would say a good, on me, it's about a good seven hours. If I put powder on it, it will, you know, set a little bit and then I spray it. It'll stay on pretty decent. It kind of wears off naturally. So it wears off a little bit more naturally. Um, but it is just a beautiful, beautiful foundation. So using the same brush, because we barely use this much at all. I'm going to go over and we're going to do the, um, we're going to do the, the, we're going to go over and do the future skin on the other side. I'm going to use a little bit from the cap because I don't even need it. Let's see, look how much on my brush. I'm going to tap a little bit because I wiped off my hand. Look how I'm kind of, kind of, kind of just pressing it out. It feels really cold on the skin. So it feels very cold. Um, it's got, it almost feels very like refreshing. Like you put like water in your, like you're taking in your splashing water on the skin and it's making your skin just feel so like fresh and rejuvenated and hydrated and plump. It just, it feels so, so good. Um, love it. It's just, it's a really beautiful foundation and it does make your skin look just like skin. I mean, look how pretty that is. Like, it's just blending in so nicely. And I will zoom you guys in a little bit more so you guys can see it. You can build the product up a little bit. It's better to do it with a brush, though. Um, I will say that with, um, when you're doing it with a, um, sponge, it does absorb into the sponge a little bit more. Um, but we're just taking it and just kind of Blend that down on right here on my chin. My chin is where I get my most red here and here, this spot here, and then the spot here on my cheeks. I don't know why I have redness there. I think it's where I shave. I don't know why it does that, but it just gets it's red and blotchy there a little bit. But it's just taking this and just blend this down, and it just looks so pretty. A little bit more. Just kind of blend that out a little bit. Just take it, but I mean, but they did pretty good. They're not too bad, too bad. I'm gonna have to take a little bit more on this side just to give a little bit more color to even me out maybe later. But yeah, see how pretty it is? And it just makes your skin look so radiant and flushy. And let me just turn the lights down for a minute so you guys can see without the actual, without the lights, you know, my light bulb, you know, the one with the... <laughs> you guys i'm fine it just fell over top of me on my head and it went and it was like because it has a cover over it so the cover caught the actual if i wouldn't have, then i would have if i'd have had the cover off of it it probably would have done something to my head but you know but i'm fine so trust me but um but yes yeah, so it's just really beautiful it's just juicy it's like this juicy delectable you just want to eat it skin that's how pretty it's just so nice so so nice so I am going to take just a little bit more. Let me dip, let me dab a little bit of this. Tap just a little bit of this up underneath this eye, just so you guys can see what I was talking about earlier. Just amino, and then because we're gonna do, uh, you'll do. I mean, if you do a, a concealer, you know, you can do a little bit of a lighter one, and it'll just give you, it'll just brighten it up just a little bit more if you want more of that brightening. But look how pretty that is. It's just so pretty, isn't it? Love that. It's just gorgeous. Damp, but it's a little semi-damp. I'm going to take a little bit of my sponge. I'm just going to go around and just press it all over the skin here. Just to kind of make sure we got it all blended in together. And you can still see my skin come through. You can see that it's still, it's not covered up a whole lot. 
Um, and you can just kind of go back over and just tap a little bit more over that. Now, I'm not going to powder this, guys, because I'm pretty much just wanted to show you guys what it looks like, give you a little information on it, how I like it, you know, um, is it worth to go out and purchase it and not all that kind of stuff. So, um, so pretty much what I'm going to do is just do a little bit more concealer and I'm just going to kind of give you my thoughts as I'm doing that. And then we'll just kind of, I'm going to do a little something on my lips and then we're going to just end the video like that. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of the Shanta Kai, since we're doing a little bit of Shanta, I'm going to take a little bit of the Camouflage Pen and I'm going to take it. This is in the shade 4C and I used this in my, my last Get Ready With Me. Love this product. It's so great. It's beautiful. It's really creamy. It's got a really bright, fresh feel to it again, just like the just like the makeup is i'm gonna take my refer brush and this is in the this is in 32 i'm gonna take a little bit of it and we're gonna just take it and just tap it here up underneath and just brighten this up just a little bit okay, guys my 411 on the future skin um so it is a, it is just like i said it's a really beautiful foundation um it does um it lasts pretty decent again it's about a good i would say eight hour because none of these foundations are made to be the long wear the 24 hour or any of that stuff there's no claim on any of these they're very simple foundations they're not a lot they're not very complex if you've ever used shanta kai before or if you've ever tried any of the products their products are very easy to manage very minimal they're you know like a one and done type thing almost it's just that that simple and that elegant and very easy to use um, you know, but it is a, um, it is a really beautiful foundation. It does last when you powder it. If you do a little spray or something, it will last a little bit longer. If you don't use any of those products, because I've used it with powder and without part powder, it'll last to me, on me, about a good six hours. But see, what happens with me is my skin is dry, and it just kind of like soaks up a little bit in, in my skin. And then by the time of the end of the day, I just don't see anything. It just kind of like disappears a little while after I just kind of wear it for a little while. It will just kind of soak into my skin, which is not a bad thing. It really doesn't bother me any. I don't mind that. So it's not a big deal. It's not a deal breaker for me. I know for a lot of people, they want more of the long wear. They want something a little bit more long wearing. Um, definitely the oil free one, I would definitely recommend if you're, you can wear it for all skin types. I mean, if you're normal, if you're oily, if you're combo, if you're dry, I um, mean, you just have to use the right kind of primer up underneath it, depending on what you want. If you want more radiance, more matte or something, I would definitely do a good primer. Make sure you hydrate with a good mattifying moisture if you're a little bit more oily, um, you know, I would just give you that or a good pore filling primer. I would do that because um, it's supposed to help. I think it helps with a little bit with pores. No, no, it doesn't. It just helps with just the skin making it just look healthy. That's it. That's all I said. The claim say it is. It doesn't really help with pores or anything like that. Um, but it is oil free. So if you're dry and you're worried about being oil free and not hydrating enough, it is very hydrating. Um, that's what I thought too. I didn't think it was going to be hydrating enough for me. I thought it was going to be more um, kind of like a good um, like a gel and that kind of mattifies or something but it doesn't it stays fresh and it stays radiant so it is a really beautiful skin beautiful if you do have dry skin um the same thing with this one now this one is a little bit more juicy it is a little bit more of that very it's a little bit more kind of wet feel to it to me it's a little bit more dewier um, I probably would recommend definitely um, this one more for normal dry, maybe normal combination. Um, if you just, again, if you want that tinted moisturizer type look, this would be better. Um, you know, you would you would enjoy it. But if you're oily, I would probably stay clear of this one. Um, again, you could try this one with a primer and some powder and that kind of sort of stuff. But usually, if you know, if, you, if I would think to me, if I would put this on an oily skin, I think that it would disappear really really fast. So I don't think it would last longer than maybe two to three hours. So it's kind of like the, what's the point? Um, so, but I mean, but you know, you could definitely check it out on your own, you know, get a sample of it. I know that if you go to some stores that do carry the brand in store, you know, maybe, um, a Neiman Marcus, or if you go to, um, I think some Nordstrom's have it, some Bloomingdale's have it. Um, you know, it's like, you know, cause I've, uh, I've got this from Swan. So I usually, um, we have all the testers and stuff there. Um, but, um, they also sample on Swan Beauty. So if you definitely want to try a sample of this, you can. You can ask them for one whenever you do your box because they have they they do boxes on Swan. Um, so you could definitely test this out. You know, they give you a sample before you even like open it up so that we can test it to see if you like it. But um, I would definitely say that the colors are definitely interesting. Um, you know, they run a little bit. This one runs definitely more lighter. So definitely be careful with this one. Um, they seem to have a little bit more... Um, 
they have a little bit of ye a little yellow to them or whatever. Um, th so just be weary of that. A lot of them do, um, especially in this one. They seem to run kind of yellowish. So just be careful. Now they are very. They do go into the skin. They blend seamlessly, so you don't really need a lot of it. And they do um, melt really quickly, so you don't have to worry about that either. Um, so typically it may look a little yellow, but then when you put it onto the skin, it goes into the skin really quickly, so you don't have to worry about it. So if you like a little bit of that, the smooth out the red and stuff like that, it will do that. So it kind of look a little bit of a corrector in it as well. Um, you know, but I would definitely recommend this one for everybody. So everybody could definitely use this one. This one, I just think is a little bit more for combination type skin. But some of them are just beautiful products, especially if you're looking for something cruelty free, you're looking for something very lightweight, something very easy to use, um, something that's not too, um, not too, um, hard to manage or too hard to work with or whatever. The only thing is that they're a little pricey. So this one is around the $80 range and I think this one is around the 70 ish range. So um, just keep that in mind. But they will last you a good long while. I mean, I, this would take you forever to go through. This should last you more than a year. And I think the shelf life on it is a, um, it's a 12 month shelf life on this one. And it is a, um, a 12 month shelf life on this one as well. So therefore, if you wanted to try, you know, if you wanted it, they would last you a good while, I think, because you don't need that much of it because they go, it goes a long way. Um, you know, so let's put on a little bit of this new Dior Attic Lip Tint. Um, they got these in store, um, and these are really, really cool. They do stay on really well. They have a little bit of a tint to them. Um, so when you put it on, it actually, it looks like this. So they come in like this. They came, this part of their summer collection. Um, well, they came out with the summer collection, but they, but as far as I know right now, according to what, um, my, our trainer has said and everything, um, cause I actually got to work with him in an event this past week and he said that these were permanent. Um, we got rid of the actual old one, the lip tattoos. So now they're called lip tints. Um, I have this one in the shade. It's in the, uh, it's in the shade 251 Natural Peach. Um, it's a really beautiful product. It's got a really cool applicator on it. So when you put it on, it just looks, it gives you like this really fresh watercolor look on the lip. And it just feels really, really good. It's got like a little bit of a glossy feel to it. Then when you put it on, it turns, it's wet. It's very wet feeling. I definitely would recommend your lips being very hydrated though before you use it. It's very, very easy to apply too, guys. You just need to you just put it on and if you haven't done a lip liner or anything because the applicator is so cool and you can get these little areas right through there and it just, it does a really good, it's very water fresh. So it feels very cooling on the lips. It's very plumping. It feels really nice. Um, I think there's, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's around 12 or 15 colors in this. There's not a ton, or it might be 10, I can't remember exactly. But it's really beautiful. It's a beautiful, nice, springy, summer look. Um, it definitely feels really good. It dries down, so it does dry down a little bit, but it's got a little bit of a glossy feel. That does feel a little bit, but you know, but it does um, just blot down. You can put a little bit of gloss over it or just wear it alone or just put one of the lip maximizers over top of it, which is the Dior, like they're um, more like a little bit of a, a very plumping lip gloss. And it just feels lip moisturizer and it just feels really good. So it looks really nice. So I really like this. It's very fresh. It's very pretty. I think it looks great with the, um, just a little bit of mascara and just a little fresh skin. Yeah. Please let me know down below if you use the, um, the Just Skin Tint or if you use the, the Chantecaille in the Future Perfect. If you use either one of these products or you use the camouflage, you know, let me know down below because I think there's quite a few of you that love Chantecaille that use it all the time and you love it. Let me know about that. Let me know if you guys have picked of this beautiful lip tint and you see um i know that i've seen a couple people uh that actually on their channel they've reviewed some of the dior riviera collection i do have the shadow palette i was gifted that in gratis so i do have that um i will be doing that in my dior when i do my dior um full face of dior color we will be using it in that mixing it with another palette but it is really really pretty um but um but these are great they do feel really good they're still it still feels cool it still feels very tingly. It feels really nice, but it's a nice minty. It's almost minty and not like stingy. It just feels good on the lips. Um, So I do recommend these. They're, they're really nice to play with if you want to put these under a lipstick or if you want to use them just alone. Um, This is great because again, you don't even have to use a lip liner with it. It's, that's awesome. 
because it just the brush just kind of lines your lips for you. So you really don't need to use one if you don't want to. It's just an easy one and done type situation. So I really like these. So let me know if you've tried these at all. And you know, with that said, guys, that's it. Um, this is pretty much cut and dry. This one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, please again let me know down below in your comments and what you think. Um, you know, and with that said, you know, be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, love yourself, and remember to reach out to someone today and tell them that you love them because you know life is too, way too short and you just never know. So always reach out to somebody and tell them that, that you know today. Don't wait till tomorrow. You know, make sure that make every second count with everybody that you love because you just never know. And also remember to be kind to someone today. You know, reach out to somebody, just tell them thank you. You know, hello, good morning. You know, give them a smile. You know, a little bit of that can go an awful long way. And with that said, guys, we will see you again in the next episode. So please peace out. Take care of yourself. And I love you all. And we will see you again soon. Bye.